let me move on to the di question so friends they have given a table chart and at top of the table chart total global production of buses will be 40000 so friends total production of bus is 40000 okay first column shows that the country that is australia brazil canada denmark and egypt and the second column share in global production right all the values are given in percentage third column is percentage of buses sold and similarly all the values are given in percentage why because see friends percentage of bus sold right so all the values are in percentage and the last fourth column selling price of one bus that is in lakh so friends listen carefully the last column indicates selling price of one bus that means one bus selling price but the values are in lakh that means 6.5 lakh 8.5 lakh 6 lakh 5.5 lakh and 7 lakh right so friends just see friends they have given a 40,000 total production of bus will be 40,000 right so this 40,000 buses is shared into global that means various countries Australia is getting 25 percentage right so Brazil 30 percentage Canada 10 percentage for example what is 10 percentage friends 10 percentage will be 4000 right so 4000 buses is shared to Canada similarly Denmark is getting 20 percentage of bus and Egypt is getting 15 percentage of bus so after getting this they are sold 70 percentage of buses is sold in Canada then Denmark is selling 75 percentage of the buses and Egypt is selling 60 percentage bus so friends they are just selling each bus for 6.5 lakh 8.5 lakh 6 lakh 5.5 lakh and 7 lakh friends understand this chart clearly so total buses produce 40,000 right and this 40,000 buses is shared globally into various countries that is Australia Brazil Canada Denmark and Egypt so they are just getting in this percentage 25 percentage to Australia then 30 percentage of buses to Brazil so after getting all the buses they are just selling the bus in 80 percentage that is 80 percentage buses are sold and 50 percentage bus are sold 70 percentage bus are sold right and Australia is selling a single bus that is for 6.5 lakh and Brazil is selling a bus that is one bus right they are selling a one bus that that is for 8.5 lakh and Canada 6 lakh Denmark 5 lakh so friends let me move on to the first question so question number one if a cost for manufacturing a bus in Canada is 4 lakh 50 thousand what is the percentage of profit earned by company on which the bus is sold on the same company so friends listen carefully first of all they are talking about the country that is Canada right if the cost of manufacturing is 4 lakh 50 thousand so we need to find what is the profit percentage earned by the company friends listen carefully Canada is selling a single bus that is for 6 lakh and the cost of production for the bus is 4 lakh 50 thousand so our target to find what is profit percentage earned so friends listen carefully what is the meaning of pro percentage profit earned you know that gain percentage or loss percentage there is a formula right gain percentage loss percentage profit percentage earned so this is called as selling price minus cost price divided by cost price into 100 i think everyone knows this formula right profit percentage or gain percentage so we need to find what is the percentage of profit earned so selling price minus cost price divided by cost price into 100 friends listen carefully cost for manufacturing is 4 lakh 50 thousand so we can say that the cost price will be 4 lakh 50 thousand what about selling price we know that canada is selling one bus for 6 lakh so selling price will be 6 lakh and the cost price will be 4 lakh 50 thousand so we can say that selling price will be 6 lakh and the cost price will be 4 lakh 50 thousand friends so divided by so 4 lakh 50 thousand divided by 4 lakh 50,000 into 100 right okay so friends 6 lakh minus 4 lakh 50,000 will be 1 lakh 50,000 so divided by here it is 4 lakh 50,000 so into 100 so friends I think we can cancel 4 0 similarly we can cancel all the 4 0 15 here is 45 so 1 3 so 15 into 3 will be 45 so finally we can say that 100 divided by 3 percentage friends so 100 divided by 3 can be written as 33 1 by 3 percentage in a mixed fraction right so 33 into 3 will be 99 99 plus 1 will be 100 so this can be written as 100 divided by 3 so 33 1 by 3 percentage so friends 33 1 by 3 percentage or otherwise 100 by 3 percentage so friends we need to find what is the profit percentage earned if it is a profit percentage then selling price minus cost price divided by cross price into 100 question number two what is the respective ratio between the sales of the total number of buses sold in country Denmark 
and the sales of total number of buses sold in Egypt. So friends, our target to find the ratio that is for the sales for country Denmark and for the country Egypt. So friends, our target to find the ratio that is for the sales between the country Denmark and also for Egypt. So friends, listen carefully. They are talking about the sales, right? First of all, let me target Denmark friends. Out of this 40,000 buses, Denmark is getting 20 percentage. So friends, 10 percentage of 40,000 will be 4,000. 20 percentage will be 8,000. So finally, Denmark is getting 8,000 bus. Friends, listen carefully. Most, most important question. Out of this 40,000, Denmark is getting 20 percentage, right? So we know that 10 percentage of 40,000 will be 4,000. 20 percentage will be 8,000. So finally, Denmark got 8,000 bus. Out of this 8,000 bus, Denmark is sold only 75 percentage of the buses are sold friends listen carefully Denmark is getting 20 percentage out of this 20 percentage only 75 buses were sold so friends what about 75 percentage of 8000 will be 6000 so I can say that only 6000 buses are sold friends got the point Denmark is getting 8000 bus out of this 8000 only 6000 bus are sold that is 75 buses are sold so friends they are talking about sales one bus is sale for see friends one bus is sales for 5.5 lakh so i can say that 6000 bus will be sale into 5.5 so friends finally we have found the total sales for the country denmark similarly next our target to find what is the total sales of egypt See friends, Egypt is getting 15 percentage of 40,000. 40,000 of 16 percentage that will be 6,000 friends. So 6,000 uh, Egypt is getting right. 6,000 buses or the country Egypt is getting. Out of this 6,000, only 60 percentage of bus are sold. So out of this 6,000, 60 percentage will be 3,600. So only 3,600 buses are sold. So friends, you know that what about sales friends? Egypt is selling one bus for 7 lakh. So 3600 into 7. So friends, clear on the concept, most most important concept friends. First of all, Denmark is getting 20 percentage of the bus that is 8000. Egypt is getting 15 percentage of the bus that will be 6000. Right, and out of this 8000, Denmark is selling only 75 percentage that is 6000 bus, and similarly, Egypt is selling only 60 percentage of the bus that is 3600. They are talking about the ratio for sales. Right, one bus is sale for 5.5 lakh Denmark, and Egypt is 7 lakh. Right, so year into 5.5, year into 7. So we need to cancel this and we need to find what is the ratio for the given question. So, friends, I think we can cancel two zeros and two zero. We can cancel this on 6 table. If I cancel this on 6 table, 10 times. If I cancel this on 6 table, 6 times. So friends, 10 into 5.5 will be 55. So this will be 42. 42. So finally, we can say that 55 is to 42 will be the answer for question number 2. So friends, most of the students will make a mistake. They used to multiply 8000 into 5.5 and 6000 into 7. That is exactly wrong. Why? Because Egypt is getting, see friends, Egypt is getting 15 percentage. But after getting 15 percentage, that is 6000 bus, they are selling only 60 percentage of the bus. 60 percentage will be 3600. And similarly, Denmark is getting 20 percentage of the bus, but they are selling only 75 percentage of the bus so 75 percentage will be 6000 and this 6000 where 60 percentage will be 3600 but our target to find the ratio for the sales we know that egypt is selling one bus for 7 lakh and denmark is selling one bus for 5.5 lakh so finally we got the answer 55 is to 42 question number three what is the total number of buses that remains unsold in the country canada and egypt together so friends we need to find what is the total number of buses that is unsold friends listen here we need to find what is the total number of buses unsold in the company that is canada and egypt so friends first of all let me see canada friends listen here friends so friends canada is getting 10 percentage of the bus out of 40,000, 10 percentage will be 4000 so i can say that canada is getting 4000 right so 4000 bus second is egypt okay Egypt is getting 15 percentage and 15 percentage will be 6000. So Egypt is getting 6000 buses and Canada is getting 4000 bus. So friends we need to find what is the total number of buses unsold friends. Listen here friends. 
Canada is selling 70% of the bus. If 70% of the bus is sold, then 30% remaining, right? From 100, 70% of the bus is sold. From the total, 70% bus is sold. So I can say that the remaining 30% will be unsold. So friends, out of this 4,000, 30% will be 1,200. So 1,200 buses are unsold. Friends, got the logic. Second thing, Egypt. See here friends, Egypt is selling 60% of the bus. Then we can surely say that 40% will be unsold. So friends, 40% will be 2400. This will be unsold. So we need to find what is the total buses, right? See here friends, we need to find total number of buses that remains unsold in both the countries. So this will be 1200 and this will be 2400. So finally we can say that 3600 buses are unsold in the country that is Canada and Egypt. So we can go for the option number 3 that is 3600. So friends got the logic. Initially we found that Canada is getting 4000 bus and Egypt is getting 6000 bus. Out of this 4000 where Canada 70 percentage of the buses are sold so remaining 30 percentage will be unsold 30 percentage will be 1200 similarly egypt is getting 15 percentage that is 6000 60 percentage of buses are sold the remaining 40 percentage will be unsold so 40 percentage will be 2400 so finally we are getting an answer 3600 buses are unsold in the two countries that is canada and egypt question number four Total number of buses sold in country Australia and Brazil together is what percentage of total number of buses manufactured by all companies together? Friends, listen carefully. Is what percentage? So friends, wherever you find is what percentage in a question, then definitely it's look like a format called X is what percentage of Y. In many videos, I have told you that is what percentage x is what percentage of y so this will be x divided by y into 100 friends so friends don't forget this format x is what percentage of y that is x divided by y into 100 similarly here we found is what percentage of that means the numerator x is the country that is australia and brazil total number of buses sold and the denominator y that is total number of buses manufactured by all the companies so friends total number of buses manufactured by all the companies we know that total number of buses manufactured will be 40,000 so I can say that the denominator value is 40,000 in the numerator we need to find what is the total number of buses sold in country Australia and Brazil friends first of all let me see what is Australia and also we need to find what is Brazil that is what is the total number of buses sold so friends Australia is getting 25 percentage of the bus out of 40,000 25,000 will be 10,000 friends so Australia is getting 10,000 bus out of this 10,000 Australia is selling only 80 percentage of the bus so 80 percentage will be 8,000 so I can say that 8,000 buses are sold in Australia next is we our target should be Brazil Friends, out of 40,000, Brazil is getting 30 percentage. So, 40,000, 30 percentage will be 12,000. So, I can say that Brazil is getting 12,000 bus. So, out of to this 12,000 bus, Brazil is selling only 50 percentage of the bus. That is 6,000 bus. So, I can say that the total number of buses that is sold by the country Australia and Brazil will be 8,000 plus 6,000 will be 14,000. So, 14,000 buses are sold in a both the countries that is Australia and Brazil this is numerator and denominator will be the total buses manufactured where total bus are manufactured that will be 40,000 so 40,000 buses are manufactured so into 100 so we need to cancel this ones we can cancel all the three zeros and we can cancel this zero we can multiply or we can cancel this by two table two twos are four five twos are ten so one twos are two seven twos are fourteen so finally we got 35 percentage so friends the answer will be 35 percentage always remember that in the data interpretation question wherever you find a word is what percentage then it is in the format called x is what percentage of y that is x divided by y into 100 so finally we got an answer for question number four that is 35 percentage so friends we have solved four different question on this table chart so don't forget to solve this fifth question and after solving it go to my youtube channel to watch all the remaining data interpretation question so friends solve this fifth question